All right, guys, here is the deal. By end of this video, you will have your own AI powered voice agent that can answer phone calls in real time, respond to questions, and even crack jokes using OpenAI real time API and Twilio. And we will be doing it using Python. Whether you want to build custom IVR system, automate customer support, build AI receptionist, or just want to build a cool AI assistant, then this video is for you. Now, just to give you a bit of background previously, it was very complex to build such real-time system because you had to manage lots of things. For example, initially you had to convert speech to text and then get response for that text using an LLM and then convert that text into uh, speech again and then sending it towards client. And you also had to do all of this in real time, which was quite complex to manage. But today with OpenAI real-time API, we can skip all of this. The API can handle audio input or text input, convert it into whatever the process is and just returns you back the real time audio. So it means you can build a speech to speech application by considering all these complexities contained within a black box. You just have to provide input and grab the output. Now let me tell you what you will need to get started. So first thing first, go to replit.com and create your account if you don't have one log in and here you will see this button says create a repel so basically a new project is called a repel in this platform so basically on this platform you can develop something and also deploy at the same time so it makes things very easy so when we run our piece of code on replit it will give us a public url which we will take to twilio so that twilio can hit our webhook anyway let's click this button says create repel search for fast api select give it some sort of name let's call it my ripple create a ripple and that's it once you have your ripple setup remove everything and go to the description below there is a link to the code copy everything and paste it over here now don't worry about this piece of code i will give you an overview but first let's configure the entire system so here in this piece of code we have this open ai api key it is being read from our environment variable so let's add our open ai api key to the replit environment simply scroll down here click secrets and click new secrets open ai api key will be the key and the value will be i will grab my api key and paste it over here and click add secret now, if you don't know how to get your OpenAI API key, I have a video on that. Make sure to check my channel. I will also link it up there. All right, we are set up with our Replit configuration. Now, click this big green button and it will run the piece of code for us. If there are any dependencies, it will automatically install it. You don't have to worry about the versions, etc. So when you run it, you will get this error. Just ignore it. It is because of this uh, route we have not defined it but that's okay it won't change anything for us so simply click new tab on this url add add incoming call so now this is our webhook url i will just copy this okay now we have this webhook url copied and it's time to configure twilio all right once you are logged into your twilio account so scroll down here click view all numbers so if you are using a trial account then to make call to your Twilio phone number you have to add your original phone number that will be used to call over here in the verified caller ID. But since my account is not a trial account so I can just use my active numbers directly and call them using my phone number. So let's say I want to configure this phone number let's click it. So here it says voice configuration and down here we have to add the webhook URL. So from Replit, after running it, we copied a webhook URL. We'll paste it over here. So then scroll down and click save configuration. Okay, the configuration was saved successfully, which means now I can make a phone call and it will be connected to OpenAI real-time API. And now it's time to test it. We will make a phone call to the phone number that we purchased on Twilio and see if it actually connects us to the OpenAI real-time API. Please wait for the connector call to the A. I voice assistant powered by Twilio and the OpenAI real-time API. Okay, you can start talking. 
Hello, can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you loud and clear. How can I assist you today? I want you to educate me about AI. Of course. What would you like to learn about? There's a whole world of interesting topics out there. All right, bye-bye. So as you just saw, we made a phone call to the phone number that was assigned to us by Twilio. Anyway, let me give you some overview of the code. So basically, we are using Fast API. Here are some configuration of the API. I mean, you can set up the system prompt. This will tell you what you are using this assistant for. You can select the voice and event types, etc. And here we have this webhook that we added to our Twilio phone number. So when a, a call is made to the Twilio phone number, this webhook is immediately hit by Twilio. And what this webhook does, it takes in the call information or whatever it is. There are some events behind the scene and it connects it to the web socket that we have created over here called media stream. So this web socket connects the phone call to the open AI real time API. As you can see, we are passing in our API key. So it just connects only once and then the connection is there until and unless the call is cut from either side. Make sure you comment down below if you have any confusion or something is not clear. I hope it was helpful and yeah, see you later.